So today's video is all about skincare. About a year and a half ago, I went through a really intense bout of acne, which I felt like I had no control over, and I felt really not pretty. I felt very self-conscious, and I was very uncomfortable in my own skin, and it was like I couldn't leave the house without makeup, or I wasn't comfortable going to the beach anymore because I was concerned my makeup would come off, and it was just a really, really rough time. Now, my skin is not perfect, but I'm definitely on my way to having much clearer and smoother skin. In the next couple weeks, I'll be putting up a video on what I'm doing to get rid of my blemishes. And hopefully, we can all take this journey together and have pretty, pretty faces again. In that time I went, I got facials. I went to the dermatologist. He subscribed me things that I felt like just did nothing for me. And I continue to just try things out. Now, um, benzoyl peroxide on my skin is terrible, but I realized salicylic acid for me was everything. So pretty much what I want to do is, if you have issues with your skin or, you know, you just are looking to try something new, I'm going to show you what I use. Now, um, a couple of suggestions would be to definitely make sure that you change your pillowcases often, you know, outside pollutants and dirt get in your hair and you're sleeping on your pillows and it's going into your face. So that could have a lot to do with it. Um, ladies, I, rem I recommend you tie your hair down at night. Like I put a lot of oil in my hair and then the oil and the pillowcase and at least tying my hair down is giving my face a little bit of a barrier. So whatever's in there is seeping into my pillow and onto my face. And the last thing I got is definitely please don't use the same towel you dry your backside with to dry your face. That's, that's just not kosher at all. And I don't really think people realize that. And change the towel often. Germs, butt residue, I'm pretty sure that's not good for acne. But anyway, let's go through this routine. So this line I'm using is called Claire Days Ahead by Philosophy. I'm gonna have links for everything in the description box. This is my Clarisonic Mia. I'm using the Acne Cleansing Brush Heads. Super cute, of course it would be light green and it came with this really cute compact carrying case which is really convenient, keeps your machine in pristine condition and it also comes with a really easy to use magnetic charger. Click, just like so. I'm just going to get my hair out of the way because it's a lot. So I'm uncovering my Clarisonic and I'm simply going to place one pump of the Claire Days Ahead Silic Silicic <laughs> Silicic <laughs> Silicic Acne Wash. My bad. I'm kind of slow today. I use a little warm water to get the pores nice and open. And then I wet my Clarisonic to make sure I get enough bubbles. So in total, this is a one minute process. 30 seconds for the top of your face, 30 seconds for the bottom of your face, and then you have 15 seconds for each cheek. I wash and I scrub in a circular motion and just try to make sure that I get every area of my face. is over I usually let the face wash sit on my skin for a little bit and um, I just happened to put on waterproof mascara today so I'm using this time to take off the excess makeup that washing my face didn't get out. A quick rinse followed by a pat dry with a clean towel. This is the spot treatment for any pesky little new fingers that I try. And this is the moisturizer, also with the little bathroom. I use about this much, and I apply it all over my face. 
Check out the all new and improved OGNL.com. Oh.